Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. I'm super excited to make this one. It's been a couple days since I put anything out. Um, a lot has happened in the market. The Discord room has grown. Some good trades in there with some I'm calling some pretty good plays today. Flow is good. Overall, good Monday. I made money. Other people made money. Positive vibes. I loved it. All right, so I just want to get right into it. Um, so my first trade I made today was actually I had um, actually played Apple. Um, it's gonna pull up a chart right here, and then I'm gonna swing over here and show you some of the flow from Apple also. But this is Apple's chart today. So I got in pretty early this morning. I was about done with all trades by um, I want to say 11 ish, about 11 ish, you know. So I was able to between you know here and here, I was able to um, go ahead and make my profits. And let me see, let me go ahead and mark that. Do I have that marker up? Okay, perfect. Um, so I got into Apple at 9.36. So right here, I got in Apple at 9.36. And my entry was for 8 um, July 10th, 380 calls at 192. And my exit was at 9.51. So not even that long at all. I really could have got way more in this, but like I said in my other videos, sometimes I was like being in and out, you know. Less anxiety, um, easy, easy, quick trades in and out. So yeah, here, so here's what I got in, guys, and here's what I got out. And I could have held longer, but honestly, just looking at the chart, even if, if I did hold, I would have probably sold out just because I would have dropped down down here and probably lost a good majority of my profits, even though it did go back up to 375. A way to combat that is you could just sell out all your contracts, but one or two, just to just to get the rest of the you know the straggling profits behind. So that's another way that you can um <clears throat> that you can actually um go ahead you know and um and and play the trade to the best of your abilities. And also, side note, guys, make sure you go ahead and please um thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to my channel. That really helps out the algorithm. I see the last video got a lot of views, so um I'm in a lot of these videos now. I'm just gonna be going over. Um, a lot of the features and tools of black box since that's what a lot of my subscribers and views come from but yeah so there's apple flow so that's the apple trade i was in and out of and then next i was in alibaba and these were apple actually didn't alert the room for it because i wasn't as too comfortable with that trade because um it was actually trading towards highs but alibaba i did um actually alert the room so we're just going to zoom in here a little bit more and then we're going to pull up the alibaba flow shout out to black box stocks um, guys, if you do want to sign up, I will have a link in the bio um, of here, and you can uh, not link in bio, link in the description. Actually, excuse me, you can guys go ahead and use my um, my link for it and sign up to Black Box Stocks. So here is Alibaba. Alibaba, my first trade came in at 9:52. So okay, not too long after I sold my Apple. So right here, entry. Alibaba. And I got in a 108 10 contract and 108. And I was out at one 128, uh, 120 dollars a contract, and I sold at 959. Okay, 959. Whoa, this is a really short play. I mean, this is one some of my problem too. Sometimes I gotta let my winners run, but you know, sometimes it's hard. You know, because like I said, like I'll get these quick little, you know, um, little jumps up in the market. Then right after, usually when it sells off a bit and kind of rises back up during the day and Sometimes I don't have the patience for that. I'm ready to be in and out of trade. And this allows me to trade more too, actually, which isn't always the best idea in the world. But, you know, if I can go ahead and knock one trade out, I can go ahead and focus on, you know, something else. You know, that's kind of working out for me, just in and out the market. I'm um, not really holding on too long. I'm not really a swing trader or um, anything like that. You know, I'll hold for a couple of hours, maybe max, a, you know, an extra day, two days. But, you know, this is my bread and butter is just, you know, um, day trading, you know, being in and out of trades. But yeah, guys, so that was a, um, Alibaba I had actually called um, um, out. So I called that play out. And then I had a Microsoft um, trade. So man, actually, let me show the flow in Alibaba, actually. Why is it not? Let's see. Let me refresh this. But the flow note was pretty decent. And uh, I'm going to try to pull up the exact flow I had saw that maybe jump into it. Um, Alibaba got in at 952. So it was around this morning. So right around here, yeah, that's what it is. I saw a hundred forty thousand dollars sweep come in for the seven seventeens, and then another sweep came in for this week, um, thirty one thousand, 
you know, from there on, I was like, okay, I'm, and then they were coming in above the ask a lot of these. So this is all the flaws they got beforehand. They were coming in above the ask. I mean, they're paying more than what it was actually worth. And that's the reason I had jumped into those play, um, to the Alibaba play. And that actually worked out well for me. I could have held um, longer for a more profit, but, you know, profit is profit. Can't be mad at it. At least it wasn't a loss. Um, next, guys, I'm going to bring up this Microsoft trade. This is a good This one actually ran up, too. You know, like I said, these are, I mean, these are names and... The thing is, guys, like when I call these trades out, you know, I'm usually in it for, you know, an hour, two hours and max, maybe, you know, a couple of minutes. But, you know, you can go ahead at your discretion, go ahead and get out the trade whenever you see fit. You know, um, just me being in and out just works out to my game plan. Everybody's game plan is different, but that's just what works out for me. So here's a Microsoft flow. Um, my first entry on Microsoft was let's see this is a buy yep at 1042 a.m this is right here entry okay and my exit on microsoft was at 1059 whoa 10 is this right oh yeah this is right okay 1052 to 1059 And let me zoom in there because that actually looks super close in price range. Oh, okay, it's because my entry is so high. It was really down down here. It's just my entry 10. Because it was, let me double check that again for you. That was at 1042. Yeah, 1042 is down here. Exactly. So it was down here just about the 209 level. And my exit was at the 20, just about the 300 level. And sometimes with um, with these stocks, especially like Microsoft, Alibaba's, the stock doesn't have to move that much for the options uh, contract to to move a lot. You just gotta remember that. So the stock doesn't have to move that much for very volatile and, and um and you know and very um liquid stocks. Um, the stock, the actual underlying price doesn't have to move that much in order for the stock option premium or price to change. You know, so that's why this one is kind of pretty close in price range, um, about a dollar difference. But you know, I was able to um come in at Microsoft at um. One, what was it? Two thirty-seven. Okay, this was a short trade. So I came on Microsoft. I had eight contracts at two thirty-seven. That's when I had it sold at two forty-eight. So I got an extra ten dollars a contract, um, about eighty bucks right there. You know, and this the reason I did that because this is towards my end of my um trading um my end of my trading day for the most part. And so okay, let me just go ahead and get a quick scalp right here. I'm not trying to risk all the profits I had already. So that's why I went ahead and jumped out. And if you look at the chart, um, I really should have, I really could have gotten out, you know, up here um, somewhere. But, you know, I just wasn't as patient when I had got out of it. But, um, yeah, that's that was um, that's all the uh, the plays I had today. And shout out to one of the members in the Discord group. That's why you need to join the Discord group. He actually called out Tikusuma BLNK. He actually charted out perfectly, and it was a perfect upwards trend except for the price was actually at the bottom of the trend. So it was about to bounce off that trend line and head back up. I was able to get in that at $55 um, dollars a contract, 16 contracts at $55 dollars a contract, and exit at $75 dollars a contract. You know, so made about 300 bucks right there. Um, pretty quick um, and simple trade. Um, and I actually did it on my mobile. I wasn't even at my desk anymore. I just put that trade in um, on the computer when he left the house and was checking up on it. And, you know, I was, when I, I think I sold this around 3, 3.52. I sold right before the close. So, you know, shout out to that member that was able to call that trade out. And that's a good thing, guys, um, by having other good traders in the Discord group. I'm not going to be able to see every um, every trade. I'm not going to be able to see every trade. But having other traders be able to see things and call it out for me really helps a lot. Um, but I think that's the end of the video, guys. So um, I think in my next video, I'm just going to go over a couple more details um, in black box stocks and how to really use it to your benefit, um, even if you aren't. A trade as intraday or trading day trading you also can use this as this confirmation you know there's a lot of these plays are long term two three and four weeks um even a year out but um yeah so guys make sure you go ahead and um like um this video subscribe to your channel um join the discord group the discord group um link will be in the description and i'll go ahead and put in the first comment we have about 90 members in there um and Rising is pretty active. I'm giving alerts in there all for free, guys. So make sure you go ahead and join that. And thanks for watching.